little fox. A Pilgrim Story. Amal looked up as Mr. Patel went to the front of the classroom. Listen up, class, he said. I wanted to announce that we're going to put on a Thanksgiving play. We'll start rehearsing this week. A Thanksgiving play? Keisha groaned. That sounds babyish, Mr. Patel. It's not babyish, Mr. Patel said. It's an excellent way to remind ourselves to be thankful for our blessings. Ooh, ooh! John waved his hand. Can I play the turkey? I want to be a cranberry, Nathan said. Everyone laughed, <laughs> so Amal joined in, even though she had no idea what was funny. <laughs> Amal's family had moved from Syria last spring. She'd learned a lot about living in America, but many things were still confusing. Right now, it was cranberries and turkeys that were baffling her. A few other kids started complaining about the Thanksgiving play. Mr. Patel held up his hand. No more complaints! We're putting on a play and you're all getting a part. Amal bit her lip. That meant she was getting a part too. The next day, Mr. Patel had a stack of play scripts on his desk. He glanced at a list while he called out part assignments. Nathan and Keisha, you're going to play Native Americans. John, your wish is coming true. You get to be the turkey. Amal, you're a pilgrim and... A pilgrim? Amal repeated. What's a pilgrim? Oh, Amal. Mr. Patel looked embarrassed. I'm so sorry. Of course you're confused. This is your first American Thanksgiving. I'll explain how it started, Nathan volunteered. He quickly explained that the pilgrims were a group of people that left England in 1620. They sailed to America on the Mayflower, seeking religious freedom in the New World. After they resettled in America, they faced many difficulties such as harsh weather and illness. Lots of people died. But with the help of Native Americans, the pilgrims learned how to adapt to their new land. The Native Americans taught the pilgrims how to plant corn and where to fish and hunt. The following year was their first harvest, Nathan went on. The surviving pilgrims held a huge feast with the Native Americans. They gave thanks for their freedom and other blessings they'd found in America. So a pilgrim was someone who traveled to a new place? Amal asked. Yes, someone seeking a better life, Mr. Patel said. Why did your family leave Syria? Keisha asked Amal. Because of the war, Amal swallowed hard. Every night there were terrible bombings. Families started fleeing our city. And one day, my father said we had to leave too. We walked for hours, and planes were still dropping bombs. We were terrified that one would hit us. Where did you go? Nathan asked. We boarded a bus and traveled to a refugee camp in Jordan. We lived there for nine months until a mosque here offered to sponsor us. They said they could help us resettle in this town. Wow, John said. Did your whole family resettle here? Amal shook her head. My other relatives went to different refugee camps. We haven't seen anyone since we left. Everyone was quiet. Resettling in America has been hard, Amal went on softly. But many people are helping us. Someone found a job for my father, and volunteers are teaching English to my mother. Well, I think you're going to be a fantastic pilgrim, Nathan declared. Just like the Thanksgiving pilgrims, you left your home to start a brand new life in a foreign country. That 
takes so much courage, Keisha added. Amal smiled as her classmates started applauding for her. Life in America is often difficult, she thought. But each day, it gets a little easier. The Carter Family, Episode 65, Thanksgiving Dinner. The Carters were eating Thanksgiving dinner. I love cranberry sauce, Mom said. Too bad we only eat it at Thanksgiving. I like turkey, stuffing, and gravy, Dad said. We only have those at Thanksgiving, too. We eat mashed potatoes all the time, Harry said. But I still like them on Thanksgiving. Emmy and Oliver were too busy eating to talk. I cooked a special treat, Aunt Judy said. Who wants some oyster pie? Dad made a face. Oyster pie is an old family favorite, Aunt Judy said. But your dad is always afraid to try it. Oysters look weird, Dad said. The kids laughed. <laughs> Does oyster pie taste like pumpkin pie? Oliver asked. No, it's not a dessert, Aunt Judy said. But it still tastes good. Dad, you always make us try new foods, Emmy said. I'll try oyster pie, if you do. Everyone looked at Dad. You go first, Emmy, he said. Aunt Judy put some oyster pie on their plates. Emmy took a small bite. Then she took a bigger bite. Mm, this is good, she said. Dad took a bite and swallowed hard. I guess it's okay, he said. Okay, it's delicious, Emmy said. More oyster pie, please!